A stunning new development involving a historic home on the main line where a large fire broke out twice in less than three months. And one of the home's owners is now charged with setting this last fire. And she shares the home with her estranged husband. Our Steve Keeley has the details from Berwyn, Chester County. The woman was wandering around. Neighbors startled to see the historic house in Berwyn on fire again yesterday after a first fire, May 1st, told us they were just as startled to see their neighbor back here just before the second fire started yesterday. Fox 29 News has learned that the co-owner of this house, 41-year-old Catherine Frankel, has now been formally charged with five separate crimes. Arson with intent to destroy an unoccupied building, reckless burning or exploding property, dangerous burning, risking catastrophe, and criminal mischief. Frankel, we learned, was here with her estranged husband and an adjuster yesterday morning. Her husband left soon after the adjuster arrived. The adjuster then left at 9.30 after going through the property with Mrs. Frankel to determine what could be salvaged from the first fire May 1st. Over an hour later, at 10.42 in the morning yesterday, a neighbor here saw Catherine walking around talking to herself, he told police, and the neighbor noticed smoke coming from the house and then heard her say, how does this happen twice? I need to get stuff out of the house. Somebody must have really went out of their way to use some material, you know, some liquid to be able to get it burning so quickly and it, it, it was really on fire in no time. Was the second fire bigger than the first fire? Oh, definitely, it was much bigger. As we were back on scene today, there was a team of ATF and arson investigators with an accelerant sniffing dog all going through the house for hours investigating. The criminal complaint says as Catherine was being loaded into an ambulance yesterday, a police officer asked her what happened. The complaint says Catherine's hands and shirt sleeves were soot covered and her hair was noticeably singed. Police wrote that she said she was home alone sitting by the pool when she heard a noise in the house. She went back in to check on the noise and was confronted by the fire. The complaint says a Chester County assistant fire marshal noticed a cigarette lighter then by the pool. To prevent possible destruction of evidence, police took Catherine's clothing she had been wearing at the time of the fire and put it in an evidence can at the hospital. An arson dog trained to alert on ignitable liquids then alerted on the clothing. Today we watched as ATF investigators at the house filled even more evidence cans from the area where the fire originated. Previously, the cause of the first fire May 1st was listed as undetermined. The criminal complaint I obtained today says at the time of the first fire, Catherine was home alone. In Berwyn, Steve Keeley, Fox 29 News.